Chief Guest Honorable uh, Federal Minister for Planning, Development and Special Initiatives, Professor Ethan Iqbal, Keynote Speakers, Ambassador of China, Her Excellency Ms. Phang Chun Shui, and former Ambassador to China, Mr. Masood Khalid. Our co-host today, Director General, uh, National Institute of Maritime Affairs, Vice Admiral Retired, Ahmed Saeed. Main sponsors of the seminar, CEO and uh, President Habib Bank Limited, Mr. Mohammed Aurangzeb, and CEO of Pakistan Observer Group, Mr. Faisal Zayed Malik. Honorable diplomats, former Chief of the Naval Staff, as you can see, Admiral Aziz sitting. General Flag and Air Officers, distinguished speakers, both participating virtually and uh, uh, present here, worthy Char Vice Chancellors, distinguished guests, faculty members, students, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, ni hao, and a very good morning. It is my profound privilege today to welcome you all to this seminar. At the very outset, I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for his very gracious message for the seminar that we just saw and heard. My sincere thanks to Federal Minister Mr. Hassan Iqbal to grace this seminar as uh, the Chief Guest. I'm extremely uh, grateful to Her Excellency uh, Ms. Phang Chun Shui and uh, former Ambassador Masood Khalid for their presence today and for being keynote speakers to celebrate 10th anniversary of China Park Economic Corridor, a flagship project of Pelt and Road Initiative. We at the Bahari University take pride in hosting this seminar under the overall guidance and support of Ministry of Pelling, Planning, Development and Special Initiatives. I also take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, uh, Mr. Aurangzeb of uh, Habib Bank and uh, Faisal Zayed Saab of uh, Pakistan Observer Group for being here and for being speakers at the event. I also welcome and extend my warmest gratitude to our speakers and delegates, both present here as well as online. I look forward to a mutually beneficial interaction among our worthy speakers and participants and hope that the recommendations presented today will help in supporting the execution of the next phase of CPEC or CPEC 2.0 as they are calling it these days. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the global economy has undergone radical transformation primarily due to globalization and interdependence of nations in one way or the other. Free trade amongst the nations has now become an imperative to meet the needs of socio-economic development and growth. Thus, the situation demands development of robust and progressive networks that provide an easy physical and virtual connectivity to undertake agile methods of trade. In this backdrop, Belt and Road Initiative is uh, primarily a major intercontinental geoeconomic initiative of China ensuring economic connectivity. CPEC is an essential component of BRI and termed as the game changer not only for Pakistan but also for the region. Pakistan by virtue of its strategic location is considered as pivot of BRI wherein CPEC and uh, Kwadar port are the vital links that lay a solid foundation to connect the Silk Road economic belt and the maritime Silk Route. I believe that full operationalization of BRI and CPEC will have significant impact on the geo-economics of the entire Indian Ocean region, particularly for Pakistan, which has the potential to become transshipment and logistics hub for the region, including the landlocked Central Asian Republics. Ladies and gentlemen, today's seminar titled CPEC, The Road to Prosperity and Growth Amidst Challenges, is in line with the Ministry of Planning and Development's initiative to celebrate decade of CPEC and BRI from vision to reality. I believe 10-year celebrations and this seminar are happening at a pivotal time where our country needs to promote business-to-business -business linkages and partnerships, and for that, BRI and CPEC are considered vital instruments. This seminar will also provide all stakeholders the opportunity to deliberate the impact created by CPEC on Pakistan's economy, as well as on the overall national security. I once again extend my sincere gratitude to the Honorable uh, Minister, 
Ambassador of China and Ambassador Masood Khalid for their presence. I also appreciate Bahari University's Park China Study and Research Center and National Institute of Maritime Affairs for jointly organizing this important event. I'm sure that the learned speakers will raise the much needed awareness and share valuable recommendations for policy making circles. With these few words, I invite Vice Admiral Retired Ahmed Saeed, Director General Nima, to formally set the stage for deliberations during today's event. Thank you all for your presence. Pa Shong Yawai Wonsoi, China, Pakistan, Dosi Zindabad, Pakistan, Pahindabad.